something happening in my ear. Hello, and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland. This is Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis. I haven't made one of these for nearly a week. So here we are again. So if you like what I do, please share. Tell people, share on Facebook. And maybe give me a donation. Go to, what is it called? I forget the name. <laughs> name of the thing. PayPal, that's it. PayPal.me forward slash Jason Newland. So, I thought it'd be nice to do a little ramble. A little ramble. Just me rambling on for a little while. So please, I need listen to this when you can safely close your eyes. Ideally, get yourself comfortable first. Maybe laying down on a comfortable bed, sitting back in a comfortable chair, maybe even laying on a on the floor with a pillow it's really up to you there may be background sounds even though it's early hours of the morning but that's okay because there's always going to be some kind of sound of course I'm not where you are I am in spirit and I am with my voice but where I am, I've got the fridge in the kitchen that turns itself on. Every now and then, I've got the boiler for the central heating that turns itself on. Sometimes it sounds like a space shuttle about to launch. Which is okay. The radiators click now and then. I've just turned the television off and at some point it's going to start making a few noises it's weird it's like it's doing its exercises before going to bed and its hips are just clicking <laughs> it's very strange you can imagine my television with legs long legs they were ruby slippers and arms and a little bowler hat of course, you don't have to imagine that. It's not. Uh, it's not part of the process. Now I am imagining it. I'm imagining it running around. But luckily, it's got no mouth, so it can't make any noise. So, Andre may also make an appearance. He likes to do that when I'm trying to be quiet. So you might hear my little ferret Andre running around but at the moment he's asleep and I hope he stays that way for a, another hour or so hopefully and I think the idea of having complete silence is not helpful idea of you know there being no temperature change at all in the room everything to be stagnant or sterile it's not useful to think that way because everything's always changing and that's okay occasionally sounds and that's okay I used to wear earplugs and it was 
was the only way I was able to sleep. Now, I don't do that anymore. <sighs> when I moved here, I thought, no, I'm not going to wear earplugs anymore. And I trained myself to just incorporate the sounds into sleeping and it's probably really more sound here than it was in my previous place at night anyway because at night it used to be pretty much silent and there's no brass bands playing in the garden or anything but There's something also about the power of the voice, the connection of me whispering into your ear or into your ears. And that's something that's very intimate very close. Normally we talk to each other and their lips are normally a few foot away from your ear when you talk to them. Which I'm quite thankful for. I wouldn't really want to be in a society where everybody is just whispering into each other's ears. That would just be a bit weird. You know, personal space and all that. But there seems to be a connection between that whisper in your ear and your own thoughts. It's not that my voice is taking over your thoughts or controlling your thoughts it's just it's as if it's joining with your thoughts and your intentions to just drift asleep and even if you're listening to this at a time when you don't even want to go to sleep you're just having a break having a rest the words that you hear the messages and the ideas go directly into your brain into your mind affecting and improving your ability to drift off naturally into a lovely deep sleep whenever you choose. And that's something quite nice about these recordings is there's a I don't know if the right word is synchronicity, but there's a joining together, there's a, a dance, my words, dancing with your words in your mind, and you find yourself agreeing with the words words that are telling you that it's okay to let go. It's okay to relax. It's okay to feel loose. It's also okay to feel good, 
just to feel good for no good reason. That's more than okay. It's actually pleasurable. And why shouldn't you feel good? After all, you're doing something right now to help yourself. You're doing something right this second to improve your life. yourself. You're showing yourself love. And that's quite an amazing thing when you think about it. When you think maybe how much of our lives we spend maybe criticizing ourselves and allowing other people to criticize us and when you take that power back and you realize that actually it's just thoughts so instead of repeating some of those harmful things that others have said to you start saying nice things to yourself start reminding yourself that you are an amazing person that you've got so much love in your heart and you deserve to be happy And some may say, what's this got to do with sleeping? Or feeling happy? Feeling content? Loving yourself? Appreciating yourself? It's got everything to do with sleeping peacefully. everything to do with falling asleep easily because you can just lie down relax your body your head touched the pillow and your mind just slows down and the only thoughts left in your mind are those thoughts that are nice those thoughts that you're telling yourself that are pleasant maybe on holiday or maybe seeing something on television or in a movie and you thought oh, I'd love to just stay here be in this moment or if you're looking out at the ocean just to keep looking at the ocean or maybe looking at your newborn baby and just to keep that moment of happiness but those are the moments that you can experience when the mind slows down when you've laid down your body automatically relaxes all the muscles and the bones even the skin relaxes your head touches the pillow and your mind slows down and all that's left 
pleasure. sleeping deeply is your birthright. You were born with the ability to sleep easily. We all were. We were born with the ability to sleep. It's the most natural thing in the world. Most other things we've had to learn to do. Like walking, talking, making sense of things. All the other things that we've learned. Dexterity, how to do things with our hands. How to write. How to read. to even go to the toilet in a potty and then, you know, all that stuff we had to learn. Sleeping. We were born able to do naturally. most natural thing in your life. It's the easiest thing to do. And it takes no effort. In fact, effort is the opposite to what's needed. Effort gets in the way of sleeping, relaxing, and letting go, and giving yourself permission to sleep, giving yourself permission to sleep deeply like a baby safely like a baby all the time your body and your mind is healing itself Say.